It's amazing to see such strong attendance, even though those who are attending today were well aware that there would be protests and, and people who weren't happy that we're having a capital day, day to begin with. But it's overwhelming to see not only are all the people who registered here, we're actually overflowing with attendance uh, today. So that's a wonderful thing. And to see the support of the interfaith communities is just heartwarming in, in this bitter cold. I felt like it was important to come here because, um, you know, with all the hate going on, I feel like part of showing them who we really are is to actually show up to this event, show them that we're normal, educate them. Because they could hate all they want, but by showing them that we're just normal and educating them about who we are, then maybe you'd gain, you'd, they'd accept you more. This is what Oklahoma is really all about. Oklahomans are friendly, wonderful people, um, and then a faith community can come together to support each other and unite uh, under the, the umbrella of love and peace, mercy and compassion. And we really beat out uh, the messages of hate and, and, and uh, misinformation. I think that's a beautiful thing. I think it's very important. Um, the Muslim community definitely needs some more help with civic engagement. Um, we can see from some recent legislative efforts that there's a lot of misunderstandings about the Muslim community in Oklahoma and a lot of um, fear and sort of mistrust. So what we want to do is connect the Muslim community with their legislators as con like constituent to, to a legislator and help them um, know how the process works and know what their legislators' thoughts are. Um, the response has so far has been really fantastic for most of the legislature. We've gotten just a lot of enthusiasm from them about how important it is for people to be engaged civically and to understand their rights as voters. So um, I think it's, it's a really vital topic. Um, everyone should have a day at the Capitol. Everybody should come to a day at the Capitol. Anytime a uh, group of people are coming in to try to uh, make themselves aware of the legislative process, uh, I think that, uh, that it's important for legislators to make themselves available. Uh, to do just that. I think it's extremely important for people to engage to make sure that your legislators uh, know that you exist. So when they're voting on laws uh, that may affect uh, a community or an issue uh, that you may be passionate about, the only way to affect that law is to be in that building. I even encourage them to run for office uh, because it's important for minority groups to be in this office so that they have an opportunity to be at the table. If you are not one of those minority groups uh, uh, that are in the, currently in the legislature, you are subject to what people think or perceive about you. Well, I, I think it's important to, you know, like I said, have a, your voice heard. Because if you don't vote, you don't participate in the political process, then you don't have a voice. You're not heard. No one hears you. It's like putting a muzzle on you. you know? But when you make your presence feel, when you interact with uh, lawmakers, then what happens is that you let them know that, hey, I'm here and I have a voice. And yes, I am a voter also. It means that I'm a part of the society and that, you know, I matter. If I just stay home and, um, and I'll just, I just watch politics and I don't participate, then if you don't, if you don't speak up, your voice is gone. And sometimes that can, scare, that can you know, lead to um, problems like certain bills that would, um, that would violate a person's right. But when you go up there, people know you're a part of the community and that you care for America and that, you know, you just have to be active. And I feel like I'm a part of the society, you know, when I come here and I talk and that kind of stuff.